So, welcome everyone, and thanks for joining us today. So for many of you who are chair-bound at the current time, whether it's maybe working from injuries, conditions, or maybe just confined to that office desk all day long at work or at home, the good news is there's still ways we can work the body to just ease these tensions away that so often come to the body when we're in this chair, in this seated position. So just check first of all that your chair's not got wheels on it, you are firmly rooted, fixed ground down towards the floor below. If you're at that office desk all day long as well, make sure you keep hydrated, grab yourself a bottle of water, or even if you can't grab that bottle of water, maybe just set the timer on the phone so that every hour or so, you just literally get up, take that little stroll again, and keep the body hydrated. So when we're sitting at those keyboards all day long, when we're holding the mouse, when we're on the phones all day long, we tend to accumulate an awful lot of tension through the upper area of the body. And so we're just gonna focus on those areas of body today. So let's float those arms forward first of all. The palms downward facing and the arms at shoulder height. Steady inward breath as we curl the fingers in towards the palms and wrap the thumbs around the fingers. And when you outward breathe, broaden across the palms, spread the fingers as wide as you can. Then let's go the opposite way if comfortable. Curl the thumbs into the palms and wrap the fingers around the thumbs. When you next outward breathe, really stretch and broaden across those palms. Spread the fingers as much as you can. And then just begin to go along between this, alternating between these two ranges of motion and movement, keeping the arms as still as possible and keeping the breathing flowing freely, your facial muscle and tissue soft. Already maybe beginning to feel warmth within the knuckles, within the palms, within the fingers. All these exercises we're working with now today really bring synovial fluid back to the different joints of the body. It's just like oiling up a car again, really lubricating into these different joints. So let's just go a couple more times with this practice, generally back to stillness in your own time. If at any time there is tension accumulated, feel free just to release the arms back down to the sides, roll the shoulders back, drop them down once again. But otherwise, moving on, just float those fingers forward again, palms down and facing. Now let's begin to flex and extend into these wrist joints. So as we inward breathe, fingers point down towards the floor. Outward breathing, heel of hands pushing away, fingers to skies above. Go again, inward breathe, pointing the fingers down. Outward breathing, fingers to skies above. Inward breathing, fingers pointing down. Outward breathing, heel of hands pushing away, fingers up to the skies above. And again, just go a couple more times between these two motions of movement that your body is giving you. No force, no strain. Final time, let's just come back to those palms downward facing. And it's fine to keep the fingers in connection here and the fingers extended, or if more comfortable again, create fists with those hands. And then let's just begin to circle into these wrist joints. So just imagine you're drawing circles on whatever's in front of you now. Observe whether you can complete the full circumference of the circle or whether it's lacking out in any part. And check you're keeping the breathing flowing freely, the facial muscle and tissue soft. Let's go one more time in this direction you're currently working. Back to stillness. And then let's begin to circle in opposite direction in your own time. Even again, beginning to feel the warmth, beginning to be accumulated here in this wrist area of the body. One more time this direction, your own time. Again, feel free to release those arms down if there's any tension. And then when you're ready again, it's time for those palms upward facing. Float those fingers forward. Inward breathing, just gently tap the fingertips to the shoulders. Outward breathing, lengthening the arms away. And again, just working on between these two ranges of motion and movement. Really working into these elbow joints here now. Releasing that tension out of this area of the body as we open up through the upper arms. Breath flowing in and out the nasal cavities. Spinal column long, really feel the crown of the head lifting up and away. Let's go one more time with this movement. Gently bringing the fingers back towards those shoulders. And then draw the elbows together in front of the body, just as far as is comfortable. It may be here for some, maybe closer for others, absolutely fine. And we're going to begin to circle into the shoulder joints. 
So as we inward breathe, take the elbows to skies above, back to the wall behind. Outward breathing, draw them together in front of the body. And then we go with this again. Any clicking sensations, fine, as long as there's no pain, no discomfort. It's just air escaping between the joints. And we carry so much tension in the shoulders. So really nice, just to lubricate again here. Leaves the tension away. Let's go one more time in this direction that you're currently working. Finally bringing those elbows back in front of the body again as far as is comfortable for you. And then let's work in opposite direction. Inward breathing, elbows back to wall behind. Outward breathing, draw them up over the crown of the head and back in front of the body once again. And just continue working here. Doesn't matter how small or how large these circles are. Just feel the openness across the chest as the elbows go back, the collarbones lengthening. And as those elbows unite together in front of the body, really feel the shoulder blades separating, freeing deep between those shoulder blades into that rhomboid muscle. Let's go one more time in this direction at your pace. Check you're feeling comfortable. Final time, just releasing those arms all the way back down to the sides of the body. And again, roll the shoulders back, drop them down. Feel the breastbone lifting and expanding. And then finally working on into the neck area. So steady inward breath. And on the outward breath, lightly tilt the chin down towards the chest. Then leading with the chin, but keeping the rear of the neck long. Inward breathing, just gently offer the gaze to sky above. You're not pinching into the rear vertebrae of neck here. Outward breathing again, chin to chest in your own time. And again, continuing on, inward breathing, leading with the chin, gazing to skies above. Outward breathing, slowly, gently, chin offering down towards the chest. Inward breathing, the gaze goes up and away again. Outward breathing, slowly, gently, chin back down to chest. One more time, inward breathing, leading with the chin, the gaze to sky above, rear of neck long. Outward breathing, just gently offer that gaze forward and again you roll the shoulders back, drop them down. Begin to feel length here, even down the sides, the front, the rear of the neck and softness over the tops of the shoulders. So let's lengthen further alternately down the sides of the neck. So inward breath your own time. Outward breathing, right ear eases to right shoulder, left shoulder drawing down and away. Inward breathing, crown of head lifts up and away. Outward breathing, left ear to left shoulder, right shoulder drawing down and away. Inward breathing, back to midline. And again, just continue to alternate between these two ranges of motion and movement. Don't over force or push strain here at all in any way. We're just gently lengthening down the sides of the neck and over the top of the shoulder. Should be feeling really comfortable. One more time to the right, one more time to the left in your own time. Feel free to close the eyes, take the awareness deeper within. And final time, the crown of the head lifts up and away, just roll those shoulders back again, drop them down. Deep steady inward breath here. And then on the outward breath, let's imagine we're turning the gaze as though we're looking over that right shoulder, keeping the chin as parallel to the floor as is comfortable for you. Inward breathing, offer the gaze forward. Outward breathing, let's turn the gaze as though we're looking over the left shoulder. Inward breathing, gazing forward. Outward breath, back round towards the right. And again, just continuing on in your own time. This rotational movement coming through this upper area of spinal column now. Shoulders still drawing down and away, facial muscle and tissue soft. It may well be that you can rotate further one side compared to the opposite side. That's quite normal, we've all got imbalances within the body. So let's go one more time to the right, one more time to the left, without speeding your practice up. Stay with the inward, the outward breath leading you. And the final time, just offer that gaze forward again and roll those shoulders back, drop them down. Let's just lengthen them further, still down the sides of the neck, but no force, no strain. We're going to be using the arm for assistance here, but we're not pulling with the hand or the arm. It's purely the weight of the upper limb doing the work. So as we outward breathe, right ear eases to right shoulder. Left shoulder draws down and away. Soften the right arm at the elbow and very lightly just rest that right palm now to the outside edge, the left ear, the left side of the face, the head. 
left fingers just gently reaching down to the floor. And then just float these left fingers further out to that side wall. So the arm's not up to shoulder height, just 45 degrees away from the torso of the body. And just breathe into it, breathe out of it. Maybe even feeling further stretched down the side of the neck and all the way down through this left arm, out through the tips of the fingers. Breathing, flowing freely. Slowly, gently, inward breathing. Right hand releases, crown to sky above, both arms releasing. Again, outward breath, roll the shoulders back, drop them down. Does it feel any different at the moment, right and left side of body? So let's work with that same practice, opposite side. So as you outward breathe, left ear offering down to left shoulder, right shoulder drawing down and away. Then we soften this left arm at the elbow, the left palm now, resting to the right side of the face, the head. The right shoulder drawing down and away, breathing in and out, nasal cavities. Let's just float this right arm 45 degrees away from the body, reaching those fingers away. Just allow the weight of the upper left arm to do the work here, gravity to do the work. You're not over forcing or pulling, pushing with this left hand, but just breathe into the length that's occurring now, down this right side of the neck, over the top of the right shoulder, and even out through the fingertips of this right hand, breathing, flowing freely. One more deep, steady inward breath. Outward breathing, left hand releases, crown lifts on up and away. And again, roll the shoulders back, drop them down. Even nice just to close the eyes for a moment and tune back into the inhalation, entering body through the nasal cavities. Outward breathing, the breath descending down the nasal cavities. And just feel this length, this space we've created down the sides of the neck, over the rear of the neck, over the tops of those shoulders. And then slowly, softly, gently in your own time, let's bring the hands towards the heart centre. So the thumbs are reaching back to the breastbone, the heel of the hands, the palms, the fingers are in connection with each other. Let's inward breathe and slowly, gently sweep those fingers forward. Outward breathing, open up across the chest and the heart, reaching the fingers back to rear corners of room. Inward breathing, draw the arms forward again. Outward breathing, elbows soften, drawing the heel of hands back towards the sternum, the breastbone. Then point the fingers on up and away and inward breathing, reach the arms on up and away. Outward breathing, release those arms all the way down to the sides, shoulders soft. Let's reverse that movement, inward breathing, arms sweep on up and away, the palms connecting if comfortable. Outward breathing, soften the elbows, draw the hands down to heart centre. Inward breathing, sweep those arms forward. Outward breathing, open across your chest, your heart, feel shoulder blades gently squeezing in as fingers reach back. Inward breathing, slowly, gently, drawing arms, arms forward once again. Outward breathing, elbows softening, drawing the hands back towards the heart centre. And then again, just rest the palms down on the upper thighs for the moment, soften the shoulders, roll them back, draw them down. Just close the eyelids and just gently begin to tune in to the inward, the outward breath, flowing in and out of the nasal cavities. Feel the connection, four corners of each foot to floor below, crown of the head lifting up and away, the facial muscle and tissue really soft, check you're not clenching the teeth, there's no tension in the jawbone, and the forehead is broad and wide. And just observing the effects of that practice, And feel free to come back, do this practice again any time you choose. It's a really nice practice to do all the way throughout the day. We do accumulate the tension in the neck, the shoulders, the upper area of the body. And just bringing awareness back if those eyes are closed. And just finishing this short session there today. So thanking you everyone for joining us. Please feel free to comment. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel and please give us a like. Enjoy the rest of your day, stay safe, stay well.